Okay, so uh, that's 10 minutes. Hopefully, hopefully everybody's back. So um, that, that took longer than I thought it would, which is all good. No stress. We, right? we take as much time as we need to do these things. Um, so I'm, I'm going to pause. I'm going gonna, gonna to switch things up a little bit. Um, rather than do this at the very end, because I want to make sure that everybody is uh, up to speed and it makes sense. Um, I wanted to get back to our Field of Dreams uh, reference. So remember last time I asked you guys to find one reference and then said we'd, we'd talk about it this week. So you're going to eventually find more references. You're going to find um, five total. But again, I want to make sure that we don't double dip and that people don't, um, don't uh, 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 everybody has a unique reference. So if you remember, the field of dreams is, is the hypothesis that we were talking about um, that is the often implicit assumption with restorations where we assume that if we just you know, start the restoration or put the, let's say, the physical elements um, into place that uh, everything else will flow, that, that if we build it, they will come or it will come. Um, and so, again, our, our constraints were just, um, you guys are supposed to find, for this past week, just find a single one, a one reference that spoke to some, some aspect of wetland, um, perform, wetland restoration performance, right? So peer-reviewed literature that, that spoke to that. Um, and so uh, this is the uh, spreadsheet I put together for you guys. So we were originally going to do it in the forums, and you guys said, ah, that doesn't, that doesn't seem to be the best way. So um, I've given you guys this. This is one, these links, again, are in the um, chat. I just posted them in the chat if you, if you don't have them. So um, what I want you guys to do is, is just uh, enter your first reference here, but don't, don't do it quite yet. We'll have, do it in, in a couple minutes here. But so you're just going to come in. You're going to put, I'm going to put my name, the, the, the hyperlink to the article, um, the authors, the title of the paper, et cetera. And then for today, I'll, or, or for before, until the end of class today, all I really want you to do is, is um, fill out, in addition to filling out these blue things, which are the references, uh, reference information, don't worry about the stuff to the right. I'd like you guys to take a stab at the stuff to the right and ask me questions here. But, but the only thing I want you to definitely finish is to say who did the study and what type of wetland is, is the focus of your, um, uh, your, the paper you found. Um, now, off to the right, there's a bunch of other, there's a bunch of other columns you'll need to fill out as well. Um, but I want to first explain what those columns are. Everybody with me? Everybody good? Yep. Yep. Okay, cool. All right. So let's just, oops, sorry. Let's just have a look at um, the other document that I shared with you, oops, which is just um, a, a, a guide. I couldn't, I can't. In Excel, I know how to make pull down menus. I, I'm not sure I couldn't figure out how to do that in um, Google Docs. I spent too much time figuring out how to do it. So it's fine. You don't need it. You can just you just type it in. So this is what okay, so I found my reference, right? It's about some academic did some study on the a wetland after it was ex, after it experienced some restoration activities, right? So these are these are the questions. So the black is gonna be the question. So the black is gonna be a a column. Um, heading on that spreadsheet. And sometimes there might be um, column one, column two, column three, column four, in case you might have, you know, more than one example within your paper. But, but basically the, the black is, black right here is the, the topic of the column or the, the name of the column. And then the blue is going to be the possible responses you all can type into there. And so do me a favor and use the exact wording here. So the best thing to do is for you to come into this sheet and just copy and then go uh, from this Word doc, copy, and then go to the Excel or go to the Google Sheet, excuse me, and hit paste. So if the A is capitalized, make it capitalized. If the N and G and O is capitalized, make it capitalized. That's the simplest thing, just copy it. So when we sort it, it'll be all nice and clean. But so here we go. So this is gonna, uh, and you guys interrupt me if something doesn't make sense. I'm just gonna run through these really, really quickly. Okay, so for each of the re references you've, and again, um, some of the columns are uh, a little repetitive, you might think. Um, some of you will find a study and it talks about one wetland and one function or one wetland and one critter, you know, something like that. That's totally legit. Go ahead and fill that in. It might not speak anything about the functioning of the system 
or you might find a, a reference that talks about the functioning of the system. They might not call it functioning, they might call it uh, uh, bird egg laying rate or productivity or some other measure of ecological function. Um, but it might do that, but it might not speak to the, the counts or the abundances of the animals and that's okay, right? So it has to have some measure of at least one function and or some measure of at least one taxa. Um, but most of them probably won't have all of those. The other issue, the other reason why the spreadsheet is so kind of weird and complicated and long is that sometimes um, we will, you know, sometimes the study will be of say three wetlands and one might have been this in this state or, or performing in this way. This other one might have been in this state and performing that way. So, so that you'll see that that's why some of these responses seem a little funny or, or the options you can choose might seem a little funny. Okay, so uh, I read my study, I, I downloaded it, I skimmed it, I know the basic idea. Okay, cool. Now, here we go. Who did the study? So it's going to be an academic, an NGO, meaning um, someone like, uh, let's see, someone like uh, Heal the Bay or um, like Friends of Biona Wetland, something like that. A consultant. A consultant would be someone who's paid to do the restoration and they're a, they're a for-profit business, right? And so again, you'll get this from the affiliation. It'll say the authors or the author or authors names, and then it should list their affiliation. And so if they're from a university, it would be academic. If they're from Heal the Bay, it would be NGO. If they're from the USGS, it would be governmental. Okay. Next is what type of community, what type of wetland are we talking about here, right? And so um, these are the most common ones. Most of you guys will probably focus on tidal salt marsh because that tends to be where, where we live and, and that's totally legit. Uh, and then here are the, some other common types that, that we found in our previous database searches. And if none of these fit, you can always just say other and other and then and type in what it, what it is. And I should say that these numbers are from the last time I, I did this exercise with some students a long time ago. Okay. And then uh, the pre-restoration, so, so you, you need to be able to say who did the study, you need to be able to say how that, the habitat worked. As we go forward, some of these things you might not be able to figure out. If you can't figure it out, uh, send me a, a, a chat, poke me and say, hey, Dr. Ray, can you help me with this? And, and I can probably help you figure it out, but in some cases we just can't. So we'll do our best job, our best effort, but, but sometimes we just can't tell. But this is what I'm going to list for you is what I ideally love for everybody to have filled out for their particular reference. Okay, so historic habitat, blah, blah, blah. So it's obvious. Pre-restoration habitat. So that would be, a lot of times it should be fairly easy to understand if the place was just degraded a bit. So if it was a tidal salt marsh and it was degraded a bit, the pre-restoration habitat was also salt, you know, tidal salt marsh. Um, okay, and then I have some red asterisks here, and those are answers that you have to answer. So you might not, it, it's conceivable you maybe couldn't figure out the pre-restoration habitat if they just didn't give enough information and it was too vague, just can't figure it out. Um, you know, uh, maybe we can't fill that one in. But the red asterisks are the minimum you have to fill out for each reference. So the target habitat is what type of wetland they were trying to return it to or trying to restore it to. Um, and then this is, does the pre-restoration equal the target? And in most cases, it, it probably will. Um, um, and so this is a yes, no question. Motivation, again, this, is, this might be one that's hard to assess, but why did they do the rest? Why did the authors or, or the practitioners that did the restoration, why did they do it? It was an experiment. It was part of an adaptive management thing. It was mitigation. Again, mitigation was they had an impact somewhere else or they had an impact and they were, they were, they were doing this to recover from the impact. Mitigation bank, we haven't talked about this one yet and this is not for a few weeks, but the idea of mitigation bank is um, we build up healthy wetlands before we do any destruction. So the idea of a bank is just like a bank for money. We deposit money, we take out money. 
So we deposit money and our, our, our bank account grows over time. And then when we need money, we take it out, right? That's the idea of a, of a restoration bank, or in this case, a, a, what we call a mitigation bank. The idea is um, before we allow the 101 to expand, we're gonna go and, and restore some wetlands somewhere else in Ventura County or in Camarillo or something, right? And so we're gonna bank this ecosystem. We're gonna add to the ecosystem in our region. We're gonna add to the ecological functioning in our region so that when we do have our impact and take some away, we don't, uh, we don't, we don't suffer a temporal loss in that, right? So if there are birds that's looking for habitat, it doesn't have to wait five years to find its habitat. It, it would still be there. That's the idea of a bank. Um, species or ecosystem management might be some type of not directly related restoration effort, but as a as a sort of knock on effect, it it had the effect of fixing some restoration. Um, uh, some people were looking to improve ecosystem services, so they weren't maybe so much trying to um, uh, fix the wetland. It's rather they were trying to reduce uh, flooding um, down, downstream or something of that nature. Uh, mandatory requirement is somebody had to do this. Voluntary, and, and there could be, again, this says uh, choose as many of the following as appropriate. So mo your wetland could or your project could tick several of these boxes. Mandatory requirements, people had to do this, they were required to do the restoration. Voluntary means people just wanted to do it. And, and, and people say we're environmentalists or a farmer on his land that just wanted to improve things or a university that wanted to do this on their, on their land that weren't required by the law, that type of thing. And then recreation is just, it was done because people were, um, uh, wanted to improve recreational options. Um, target taxa, again, um, so, you can put none here, but you have to fill this out. So if your study didn't, didn't specifically talk about what was going on with the birds or insects or whatever, uh, that's fine, but you need to enter something in that, in that column. And, and then we've broken the taxa into two broad groups. Species of concern, this is basically an endangered species or an invasive species. So there's a real focus critter that, that we're worried about outside of this restoration. Other taxa would be any other regular old insects, regular old plants, that kind of stuff. Um, and then again, was, was there a target function they were, they were looking for? Yes or no? The size of the wetland. And so um, if you had but a single site in your, and this will be in the methods probably, if you had but a single site that the study was focused on, you're just gonna list one of these top, um, a top four in terms of hectare size. Um, if you had multiple wetlands and they're all the same size, again, you're golden. But some of you will have a, a study that looked at various wetlands or various restorations and they're of various sizes, you just, you just tick various there. Same thing with age. Okay, this next one is, um, uh, were we next to other wetlands? So, so, so was this restoration adding a bit of a pond and, and touching another pond so that, and that would be high intermediate would be, it's, you know, it's, it's a little connection, um, et cetera. Landscape connectivity refers to, and again, we haven't talked about this yet because we haven't gotten to our wetland lecture, but, but after, um, well, after this week, you guys will know better what this is. But the idea here is, our wetlands are connected to other elements of the landscape. Historically though, the law has made us focus on the legal jurisdiction of what is a, a legally defined wetland. Every single wetland needs landscapes outside of that to function well. We need grasslands, we need water flowing in, water flowing out, those kinds of things. And that's what this is talking about. Is this a wetland in the middle of suburbia, which would be highly disturbed, right? Or is it intact? Is this a wetland in the middle of a natural landscape? Uh, was there any um, maintenance activities that go on after the initial restoration? Again, one that can be hard to determine, but if you can determine that, we'd like to know that. Um, was there any monitoring required? M oftentimes there probably will be because that's where this paper comes from, from the authors doing monitoring is usually where this data comes from. Okay, then the same thing um, with uh, 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 
And so I, what I've broken it down here a little bit in terms of the in terms of the sort of subheadings, the goals of the project as best we can tell, the doing of the restoration as best we can tell, the results, right? And so this is this would be the the bulk of probably what your paper is about. So did this paper focus on which which broad taxonomic group? Fishes, birds, inverts, plants or algae, microbes and fu or fungi, um, and mammals or other vertebrates. Um, okay, and then, uh, yeah, and so then we go through and, and fill this out. And then um, what was the measure that they used? Did, did they, would they just say, was it qualitative? Like, like example from last week, and I told you Mark just sort of drove up and said, does this look wetlandy? You know, so, so are there some birds here? Like that type of thing. Or was it simplistic quantitative? Did they use simple statistics to determine the, the, the comparison of the critters to, to their target? Or do they use really rigorous stats? Um, and then do they have any reference taxa? Were they saying we're trying to restore this to, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, the abundance of critters in this other marsh? If that's the case, as you'll often see, that would be yes. And, and they use reference taxes in this study or no, they, they or, or yes, they're using reference taxa, but the numbers didn't come from us. They came from somebody else 10 years ago or, or no. Um, and yeah, and the same thing for functions, right? Same thing with functions is qualitative, simplistic, et cetera. Same thing with functions, no, yes, et cetera. And so that's, so that, that's what you guys are gonna fill out. So I'd like you guys take a stab at that right now. Um, and then it'll, I'm sure everybody always has a million questions. This is confusing the first time or two through and it, you have to make some judgment calls based on the paper. But um, I'd like everybody to pull up that reference that you made and go ahead and start typing in your, um, your reference and at least fill in this part from column B, oops, excuse me, from column B to K today before we're almost out of time. And yeah. Um, uh, yeah, you and have to make it so we can edit it. Oh shoot! I thought I did. Hold on. Let me. Thank you. Hold on. Thanks. Okay. Sorry. Let me. Let me. Uh, let me reshare this. It should work now. But let me just make sure. Let me just share this link with everybody again. My apologies. Oops, that, that's just to you. Let's make it to everybody. Okay, so this is this this you should if you click on this link, you all should be able to edit the the um, the uh, Google Sheet. And so I suggest you guys, so we don't type on each other. Just type your name first in one of the B columns before you start doing the rest of it, and then that way nobody will overtype your your thing. And I'm just gonna hang out. And when you guys have questions or something doesn't make sense, you can just scream at me, and I'll I'll answer them for you. Hey, uh, Dr. A, uh, yeah, Swan, um, maybe I like stepped away to use the bathroom or like make coffee or something. I'm a little lost on, um, what this reference, reference? towards fields, fields sure. of dreams sure. is supposed no worries, to be. No worries. So we did this at the very end of last, uh, last week, but, um, basically, so I want you guys to go to search, find a reference. Um, and what, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be testing. We, our class is going to be testing the field of dreams hypothesis. So we talked about it last time. And so we're just yeah. going to go to the literature and you're eventually going to get five for, for right now. I just told you guys for this last week, just to get one. So if you haven't done it yet, you can go ahead and go jump into the library database, find a reference that um, speaks to something about restoration performance. So you can, you can search for wetland and restoration, wetland restoration success. Uh, it's, it's up to you uh, uh, how you want to do that and just find a paper that at least mention is the, the focus is a peer reviewed so the guidance is peer reviewed wetland study and has some measure of the the functioning or the or the number of critters in that wetland at some point in time after the restoration does that make sense gotcha. yeah gotcha okay i do remember this now i just 
totally a lot okay, okay, lost okay. It. yeah <laughs> it just i think it's gonna be a lot easier doing this his first time or so with me with us as a group and people can ask questions rather than as an off the rest of it will make an offline activity but but for this first part it, it seems it's potentially really confusing and so that's why i wanted to do this as our group Does it have to be with wetlands or does it matter? Like would yes. coral reefs be okay? No, I want, do we, wetlands, let's keep it wetlands. That, that's my one constraint. The, so the constraints are just deal with the wetland and uh, at, at some point in time after the restoration has been done. So every once in a while you guys might find a reference where they're doing the restoration or they're planning the restoration. That's not gonna work. We want it, we want it uh, uh, at some point in time post construction so we can look at the response of the restoration. The ideal one would be some you know, project that has looked at 20 years of data, right? 20 years of response, long-term response um, and looked at taxa and looked at functions and looked at all that kind of stuff. But, but that's too much work for you guys. This is, this is just, uh, so wetlands and at some point in time some measures have been collected after the construction and so you remember when you guys do it um uh you highlight or copy the the options here and use those as your guys uh use those as the um uh ones to fill in so for example whoever this is i can't see who it is uh so wetlands in the central california central valley that's great you can put that in the notes that it's in California Central Valley. On the far, far right, there's a little like comment section or notes, but it, it should be the kind of wetland in the Central Valley. So maybe it's, um, yeah, there you go, thanks. I, I mean, and maybe I'm just ignorant, maybe I couldn't figure it out. So on Excel, I can make it so that I can, like within historic habitat, you can click and there's a pull down of these, you know, five or six options or whatever. I don't think I couldn't make Google Sheets do that. Do you guys have you guys seen that function in Google Sheets, or have you seen any of you, any of your other classes or people have figured out how to make make it behave like Excel that way? Okay, that's what I thought. Nope. Or Kristen, or or did somebody say something? Somebody figured it out? Nope. Okay. You wanted these articles to be peer reviewed, right? Correct. Correct. How do we figure that out on certain documents? Uh, so one, you can just show it to me or you can share it with me and I can take a look. But um, so the short answer is generally it'll be in, a, in an academic journal. Could also be in an edited text. Could, I mean, I don't think you'll probably find those easily in the databases, but you might. Um, and so for the journal, if you're wondering, it says, you know, this is published in whatever, Ventura County wetlands or something, right? If you go, if you take where it says um, the name of the journal, copy that, search for the journal itself, on, just on Google, just search, search for the society, the journal that's publishing it. There will be something about instructions to authors. And if you look in that section, it should, it, it should say that, oh yeah, we send this out to review by other experts. And that, that, that's your definitive proof that it's a peer reviewed journal. But you can also just ask me. Um, it's, I'm looking it up. It's, I have like different, um, listings for it. Okay. Um, I didn't say, I don't really get what you're talking about. Like the list of authors. So, so, so how about, um, can you put a link to it in the chat and I can take a quick click on yes. it and check it out. Okay. Do you want the article link or the um sure. Which sure. Okay. Sure, sure. Okay, so this is from Okay, 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 so so the journal, this guy's from the Journal of Ecosystem Health and Sustainability. So I suspect it is peer reviewed. Um, so if I so if I just come up here and I do something like this. Let 
Um, and okay, so this thing about, okay, so here we go. Instructions to, to authors. So I've just searched on the journal title, found this one. And then somewhere on the top or side or whatever, there'll be something about uh, instructions for authors. It could also be in journal information as well. If I click journal information. Uh, uh, Ecological Society of China and Taylor and Francis, which is a, a, a publishing house. Uh, make every effort to ensure da, 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 the opinions and views of the authors are not those endorsed by society. Accuracy should not be, the accuracy of the content should not be relied upon. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> it should be. Well, it's from China. There you go. Uh, That's why I was a little scared. I would, I would probably not use this one, I guess, is what I would say. But, but if we go into here, if we go into instructions of authors, it talks about peer review. So it is peer reviewed. So, um, so authors and peer reviewers will be making adjustments. So, da, 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 da. so this is peer reviewed, but given that, uh, the statement that we just found, yeah, what, I'll look for a say? different one. You didn't believe it. Maybe we use a different, um, one, <laughs> but now I know how to find that. Thank you. Yeah, totally. You're welcome. All good. All good. Okay. Guys. So it's 1150. So, um, let me just, uh, God, with all these Zoom windows, it's so hard for me to find where I'm looking at. Uh, hold on a second. There I am, over here. Okay, so okay, good. So let's have a look real quick, everybody, before we uh, before we run out of time here. So looking good. So again, f fill this out. Okay, so fill this out today. If you, uh, uh, we're going to end in a minute, but but before you completely log off, if you guys could could please fill that out. And that'll allow me to, to make sure that you're following the instructions correctly. And I can give you guys some, some um, feedback. So this one, um, Sage Scrub Marsh Border, it's going to, uh, if, if, if it doesn't fit into any of our other categories, I want you guys to put other, and then you can put dash and put the rest of it. But, but right, we want to be able to search for this stuff and, and, and start to um, organize the data when we do our analyses. So we have to follow the same, the same, um, uh, uh, labeling and formatting and stuff. Um, but we're out of time. But what I'd like you guys to do is, is to start checking out these, these categories. So other historic. So this is, again, this is historic habitat, what it was before. Sometimes there might be two sites or three sites or something like that. So there might be an additional other site, um, et cetera. So, so walk yourself down through here and make sure they all make sense um, and, and fill them out as best you can. Okay, so take a stab at filling them out as best you can. If there's a problem and, and you just can't figure it out, I'd like you guys to come down here on the, on the, um, uh, on the cell that you, that you can't figure it out and go ahead and highlight it with yellow. So I, wait, what the hell just happened? Where'd I go? Sorry, go right here. And if I come up here and I fill this yellow um, and then go ahead and insert a comment. Uh, where am I? Over here, insert, uh, insert comment, right? And tell me what your, what your thing is. Hey, Dr. A, I can't, you know, blah, 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 blah. I'm not sure, you know, if this is false or true and da, da, da. Can you give me, give me a hand kind of deal? You can also you can also just just um, ping me and we can talk about it you know uh, on the phone or something, but but if you got just about it all done but there's just you know a couple things you just can't figure out flag it yellow, and as long as let me undo this as long as over here on the far left, um, Maddie puts in the URL for the paper so I can click on it and 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 look at it I can help. If you guys don't have the if you don't give me the link I can't. I can't easily give you feedback. But so, so our goal, our goal for, or not our goal, but our assignment for this week is to finish filling this out, right? Uh, for your first paper and then have filled in uh, another four references, right? Ideally, fill it all out, that would be great. But, um, 
but I know that some of you guys might have some struggles and it might be hard to finish it, but ideally get them all done. But at a minimum, your first one you already found, get that filled out and have your other references already claimed so we can be sure that nobody else is gonna claim your reference. Again, if I found a reference um, and I wanna use it, I wanna first come here and skim all these, right? And make sure that my, my author's name and year and title uh, isn't, somebody hasn't already grabbed it. And as long as they haven't grabbed it, then I can go ahead and throw my name down and fill it out. Professor, how did you say to get that information to you so you can review the um, titles, the URLs, the paper? Uh, right here on column C, it has your, you guys have put your name in and then in column C, you're putting a link to the article, say from the database thing that you searched, okay. put it in there. And then, and then when, I, when you have a question, I can scroll over to column C and I can look at the original paper to, to help you answer it. Okay. So where's that, um, where's that Word document? Where can we find that? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll repost it all on our, um, on our uh, uh, it's, not, it's not a Word document, it's a Google Doc, um, but it's, it's in the chat. I'll, I'll send it again to you guys, but I'll also post it um, in our class. But let okay. me just uh, copy this. And so, and so I, I posted this before, but this is a link. I just posted a link to the Google Doc, which gives you all the, the um, response options. Is that list of 10 due today? Like no. at 5 p.m. or whatever from last week? No, but, but, but I want you guys to have filled in the first one today by 5 p.m. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. On the new Google Doc or this, the old one? The, the one we're all typing in right now. Okay. To okay. add to the confusion of everything that's going on, would you mind posting the poll EV thing? Because I have to get going. So. Yeah. So here it is. There. Sorry. So uh, if you guys could give me feedback on today's lecture, as always, anonymously, right there. 